What's up guys, my name is Thomas. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to consistently alt tab out of Rust using exclusive full screen. Uh, the benefits of exclusive full screen are everyone knows them. You get higher FPS, you're not, you don't have this constant input lag. Uh, it's a little bit longer to tab out, so there is that. But basically I'm going to show you how to alt tab every single time so that way you can actually use this command. Um, there are a couple of things that I want to mention, however. So if your keyboard has a gaming profile on it that voids the use of the Windows key, go ahead and turn that on when you're in Rust. If you actually hit that or bump that, it can crash your game. Just like, you know, quickly clicking Alt and then clicking Tab will generally crash your game. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. So it's better to just turn that, um, turn that function on. So I'm going to go ahead. Here's the thing, right? I haven't been able to get the game to work on strict reses. And it's very unfortunate. I'm going to do a little bit more messing around, I think, with it. But for now, it's only native res. But it's consistent. It works. So I think, I mean, if you already play on native res, it's great. But if you're playing on stretched, you may have to just not alt-tab. Um, so my apologies for that. I'm going to try and see if I can get it working. But at the moment, it just it kind of is wonky. It doesn't crash your game, but it doesn't alt-tab properly. It just gives you a fuzzy image. So, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and launch Rust and actually do this. It's it's just very simple. Uh, it, it's it's a little different than other applications, but because most applications like CS, you can just click Alt-Tab once, just press it, and then you Alt-Tab, but not Rust. Uh, another thing is that this is this works on my PC. I've done it dozens of, you know, dozens of times. But it may not work on your PC. I can't guarantee that it's going to work on every system, every Windows. Is it going to respond differently? So, hopefully, the hope is that it works on your system and I can help you out a little bit here today. But if not, um, then it may be something else. So here I am in Rust, right? Um, all my stuff. Um, I'm in Windows Exclusive, right? I'm not... Um, if I press my Windows key, I will actually have gaming mode on right now. So I can just click you know, my Windows key all I want. But basically, here's the thing. If you want to Alt-Tab consistently, you hold down Alt, you click Alt-Tab once, and then you continue holding down Alt for maybe five uh, to, you know, however long you need. So I'm going to click Tab once. And now you want to wait for your tabs to open up like you're traditionally going to Alt-Tab. So you want to wait for, you know, in the, my case, you see here, um, you want to wait for this screen to show up. Just keep holding Alt until this screen shows up. And I was on Steam, and then I let go. And then all now you're alt tapped, and it, Rust is running in exclusive full screen mode here. Fine. So you know, and I'm not, I'm not. It's not like it's just an illusion, like because I know sometimes it would not work properly. I, you know, I can type, I can, I can check my Discord, I can check everything. So this is how to consistently do it. Now, if you just want to go back in, same dealio. You click Rust, yeah, it opens, and then boom, you're back in the game. And if you're curious how I'm capturing this, um, I'm using OBS Classic with automatic scene switchers. This isn't a display capture, if, in case that you wanted to, in case that was a little, you know. This is exclusive and full screen, 100%. 100%. So, um, give it a test yourself, see if it works. Um, hopefully I can help some of you guys today. If this helped you, drop a like. Um, leave a comment if you have any questions. I'll try to respond to them uh, as soon as possible. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will... Uh, See you guys later. Enjoy your exclusive full screen now, guys.